Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how I started selling art online and why. I thought it's an interesting topic to talk about and I'm hoping it might inspire some of you to do the same. Uh, so basically, like I said in my previous video, uh, I um, studied marketing and art at the same time. So obviously when I graduated from both, uh, the normal thing was to find a normal job which is work in marketing, which is great because I do like marketing and obviously it helped me a lot. And um, But um, that also meant that I didn't have enough time to do art. So when I started working full time, I was working nine to six and I worked a bit further away from central London so it was quite difficult to get to places and, and get home so by the time I got home I was really exhausted by everything I didn't really want to do anything except sleep eat, sleep and you know things so um, I started to feel a bit sad about it because obviously art has always been a big part of my life I have been doing art since I can remember so not doing it was not really a happy time in my life because I just felt like I missed a big part of me I guess um, so then I started thinking how can I force myself to do it because when you go to art academy or you study you have number one a lot of free time and two is like you're motivated because you're constantly like having to do little projects try new things and stuff practice try to be better so it's easier but when you're out of school it's like sort of you have to motivate yourself and obviously with a full-time job that's proven to be difficult so I started thinking about it I said right if I open an Etsy shop um, that will sort of keep me busy and keep me in that world and it will mean that I will have to create more art and uh, for some reason that idea inspired me to do it and I just opened my Etsy shop. I think the first thing I did was open an Etsy shop or actually I think I had my Etsy shop opened because I was shopping on Etsy but I don't know how that worked. Anyway, I had it open with my name of this side of life and then um, and then I bought my iMac, which was the best purchase I ever did, um, so I can create my artworks. Um, most of my artworks are digital. Um, and then I did, I found a local printer shop and I went physically into the shop to choose the paper that I liked, the quality of the printing that I liked. So I chose everything. I chose 300 GSM off-white paper, which was beautiful. I also decided on the sizing of our prints. I I uh, thought about what uh, I kind of Google what are the stand standard sizes of artworks and stuff that are easy for people to frame. So eight by ten on A4 uh, paper just to make that easier and convenient for people to buy frames that they can easily frame. And the reason why I did eight by ten on A4 uh, paper is most of the frames that you buy are going to be like. 11 by 14 and then they're going to have a mount so it's easier to mount them if they have a bit of white on the side so I thought that's a good idea which it was um, so yeah so I decided on that uh, at that time I have not th thought about business cards I have not thought about greeting cards um, I remember buying the greeting cards as I went along which cost about like £2.50 each which was really expensive at that time I don't know why but I haven't thought about how I am actually going to package this. I know it's a silly idea and it's something that everyone probably thinks of and it's probably, uh, I am probably the only person that's been silly not to think about packaging but it's just, I just, I guess I just didn't think that I'm going to sell so I just thought whatever. So when I got my first sale which was really exciting, I still to this day get excited about every single sale I do because it's just so exciting to know that something that I have created uh, with such a big love and passion for art that I have, people have in their house. It's like amazing thing to me and I get excited about all the different countries that I sell and you know it's just very very exciting. Art is my one true love and I just love doing it. Um, so anyway I sold and if you, I don't know if you're going to believe me but the first artwork I shipped, I remember shipping it in the plastic folder, you know the ones that you use like for paper and stuff, I actually shipped it in that. I do not know how this person, uh, what they thought when they received it and how they didn't get give me like bad feedback because that was totally bad package. They must have really loved the print because that was horrible. And then that's when I ordered from somebody else. I was like, I'm sure this is not the way to package the print. So I ordered from somebody else and then kind of found my way around it. I made a few mistakes where I shipped in the wrong um, envelopes as well, where they didn't have a hard backing and blah, blah, all this. But 
yeah, that's how we basically started from just a, a wish to create more and to do more art. I started doing it. Um, it was never, you know, I never expected it to be as big as it is. I never expected to have so many art exhibitions or to be in so many shows and for people to have my art in their shops as well. And it's just been an amazing experience, which I'm going to talk about how did I get to do all these amazing things through just selling online and how you actually, um, how I get people to contact me for all sorts of different things. Um, but I just wanted to talk about how I started. Obviously it wasn't easy, but I just love doing it. And I love it to this day. I love interacting with clients and customers and doing commission work as well. It's, it's just been amazing. So that's how I started. Um, please tell me in the comments below if you have a shop or how did you start or how did you start your online business. I would love to hear other people's experiences. Uh, this is how I started and I look forward to many more years of selling and doing art online. Uh, thank you guys for watching and if you like more videos like this please subscribe. Uh, all the important information is in the description and please watch my last video. See you in the next one. Bye!